My name is Sam Gorski, and today we're at the Corridor Digital Studio in Los Angeles, where we are constructing a virtual production set for the second season of our hit D&D show, Son of a Dungeon. We're building green screens, we're setting up cameras, we're in Unreal Engine. It's a lot of fun, but a lot of work. The first season, we played a D&D game, and then we recreated it all using Unreal Engine. And we used the green screen to put ourselves into that world. It was a fun process. It was also painstaking, getting everything working by ourselves. We, we, we would get 10 takes of one shot. Usually only like one would be usable. And that's not because of like the actors or the framing or the focus or anything like that. It, it was because you know, this tracking system that I had built was just not up to snuff. We had loose cables, things were falling apart, we were losing tracking. We would waste so much time filming these false takes that were, were totally unusable. We, we, we shot for the stars last time, you know, we we're like, hey, let's do like 200 green screen shots. This season, we're thinking of maybe doing more, maybe like 300, 400, we'll see. I mean, it's a very intimidating number, but knowing that we're not gonna have to worry about like the tracking falling apart means maybe we can actually accomplish that now. The Vive Mars is actually a pretty simple system. You get a box, the magic box, you got a touch screen on there, and it is basically the central hub for your camera and your genlock and your trackers and all that stuff. It, it is the device that handles the process of syncing everything. I mean, even me, never touching this kind of stuff ever before in my life, I'm able to figure it out pretty quickly. <laughs> the process is you make sure you plug in all the cables to their respective ports, you turn it on, and then it works. It's basically that easy. Cut, moving on. Everyone is blown away by this Mars system. Everyone here has a good sense of what it takes to get an image like that. Like what's the tr traditional method and to just be able to walk down here and grab a camera and suddenly see the green screen is keyed, the background's moving perfectly with it. Like all that stuff, it's just, it, it's kind of magical. Four years we've been trying to make a movie. Um, you know, we've been working on scripts. We do all that stuff. And then, you know, it comes time to like, maybe break it down, figure out a budget for it. And for us, it's always way beyond what's feasible. And that's why like three years ago, I started figuring out how to use Unreal because uh, not only is it super, super fast for rendering, but from a world building perspective, you have limitless resources. There's this like beautiful intersection between quality and speed with Unreal that I really, really like. And the moment I sensed that, I was like, wait a second, like, I, hey, hey, all this huge, big stuff that we want to do is suddenly way more accessible now. What attracted me to filmmaking when I first started, and I, it's even still to this day, is when technology intersects with affordability and ease of use. I think we finally have this really nice intersection when it comes to creating your own virtual production system.